Minimal change disease or minimal change nephropathy is the most frequent cause of nephrotic syndrome in children. The peak age of occurrence is between 2 and 6 years old. Minimal change disease also occurs in adults but less commonly than in children. The term minimal change disease refers to the normal appearance of the glomeruli on light microscopy. In addition, there are no immune complexes or deposits to be found. But on electron microscopy, there is fusion of the foot processes of the visceral epithelial cells in the glomeruli. Having said that, fusion of foot processes is a bit of a misnomer as the epithelial cells are actually flattened and simplified, giving the appearance of foot process fusion. There is one change that may typically be seen on light microscopy in minimal change disease and that is accumulation of lipid in the tubular epithelial cells due to reabsorption of lipoproteins that have passed through the basement membrane. These are light microscope images of normal glomeruli in minimal change disease. This is the PAS stain and this is the silver stain. This is an electron microscope image of a normal glomerulus showing normal foot processes. And this is the electron microscope appearance of minimal change disease with flattening of the foot processes or podocytes. Minimal change disease may occur out of the blue with no obvious predisposing factors, but it may be associated with respiratory tract infection, immunisation, tumours such as Hodgkin lymphoma, drugs, venoms and stings. Treatment is with steroids and or sometimes immunosuppressives. In children the prognosis is good, with no permanent renal damage usually, but the condition can sometimes relapse. In adults the prognosis is not quite as good as in children, and they may take longer to respond to treatment. Yeah.